pentatonic scales are kind of the foolproof scales where as long as you're within the key, you can play any of the notes. They're going to sound great on top of any progression. So we have two of them. We have our major pentatonic and we have our minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic is what a lot of people usually start learning first. If we just stick to our four finger grid right here, then our notes in finger numbers just go one, four, one, three, one, three. And if we want to expand on that through the rest of the strings, I like to think about it as backwards of that for the next three strings. So instead of one, four, one, three, one, three, it's one, three, one, four, one, four. So all together, you end up getting this. So that's our minor pentatonic. Anytime you're in a minor key, you can play that all day long and it's gonna sound great. Just find the key. If we're in the key of A minor, we can start on an A. If we're in the key of D, we can start on a D. If we're in the key of B flat, we can start on a B flat. As long as we just stick to that original pattern, one, four, one, three, one, three. We're gonna get that minor pentatonic every time. For whatever reason, I like to think in the major pentatonic more. Here's the major pentatonic pattern. Again, as long as we stick to our four finger grid, then our finger numbers go as follows. Two, four, one, four, one, four. I kind of think about it as like the outside notes of our major scale. If we have... It's kind of like the outside notes of that. And that shape works all day long, but there's a better shape that I like to use more. So we're going to start on a first finger and then we're going to slide up by two frets. And now everything's what I like to call in the box. So it's just a bunch of first fingers and third fingers. And you can hear how it's the same as our original shape. What I like about this new shape is if you noticed, I ended on a first finger. So just as easily as I started that scale, I can start it back up again. Gonna run into that B string though, so we're gonna have to bring it up by one fret. And again, we can start it over from there. We're gonna run out of some string there, so I'm actually just gonna grab it up by four frets. Look how much range of the guitar I just got out of that one scale. So those are your pentatonics. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. Subscribe for more and I'll talk to you soon.